roasted broccoli and cheddar quiches. How are you doing? Those croissants are being prepped. We are nearly able to go to Mars and we cannot make great bread at scale without any crap in it. Organic baguettes, organic ciabatta. Our philosophy is always to challenge the status quo. How can we make things better? This is the type of bread that fits a purpose in a market. Unbleached enriched flour, water, high fructose corn syrup, yeasts, cole, calicephalol. It's even hard to pronounce all those names. They use dough conditioner so products can go as fast as possible on their line. Monoglyceride, mono and diglyceride, distilled monoglyceride. Ingredients that are preservatives. Ammonium sulfate, calcium sulfate, calcium propionate. Bread is the foundation of our daily meals. It's the number one food on the tables of people all over the world. Bread is pretty much a universal food. Without it, the meal seems incomplete. Because bread was this foundational um, part of the diet, our society went on a mission to make bread really cheap. And that included using all kinds of industrial processes. They made a very bland, tasteless, but standardized product. Bread requires a mix. You have to have the right process, but you also have to have taste. Quality in food comes from first getting really great ingredients. We use mostly organic flour from people that we've been working with for 20 years. Then being really careful. The croissants that goes into our stores have 33% butter. And being really repeatable. 24 layers. That takes flattening the dough, folding it all together, flattening again, folding it all together. And having somebody watch the whole thing like a hawk and taste it and test it. It's good. days of a factory that are running like shampoo factory or tires factory, I think that future is going to be over at some point. Our company has the luxury of being very flexible and our bakery slash kitchens are very, very flexible. So we can innovate, test quickly products, bring them to market. And what we want as we grow is more to partner with specific food companies to whom we can bring prototypes or products that we know how to manufacture at scale. Do you think it's better to have a green bean that was flash frozen right after being cut or having a green bean that you buy on any retail shelf that has been sitting there for a week or two? Which one is more nutritious? Our brioche has 21 days shelf life. It's only clean ingredients that are non-GMO, that doesn't sound like a chemistry list. we think about is how do we change and even improve the quality of the Starbucks of the world, or the McDonald's of the world, the Costco of the world. Yes, it's fun to provide great bakery goods to 10,000 people a week in San Francisco in our bakeries. Does it change and move the needle? Not really. 
But what's really exciting is what we can do with a lot of the big partners who have massive traffic in their stores every day.